A good Saturday morning. It's now 715 and we're off to a really nice start across the area. Even though we are dealing with a little bit of fog, some low lying clouds, no rain in the forecast today and happy New Year's Eve. 60 degrees to begin our morning in the metro area. Dew points are in the upper 50, so it is a touch humid if you are heading out and winds are nice and calm. Now the winds will remain nice and calm as we go through today and our temperatures will be mild in the 70s and upper 60s across the area. Here's a look at your current temperatures. 40 of uh, 57 in Bogalusa. Good morning. Morning, 60 in Slidell, 56 in Buris, lower 60s in Homa, Raceland, and Thibodeau. Good morning to you all. Dealing with patchy dense fog across the area, the fog will continue to clear as we get closer to the 9 o'clock hour. May linger along our coastal areas, rivers, and lakes, so be mindful of that. Dense fog advisory in effect. It's going to expire in a few hours, so again, just make sure you're being careful while you're out and about. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. We'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds, more clouds than sunshine. As as we go through the afternoon hours, if you're heading out to the Sugar Bowl game, Superdome, looking pretty good. No rain to, uh, to contend with. And then as we go into the afternoon hours, temperatures heading into the upper 60s and lower 70s. And tonight looking good too under partly cloudy skies. Dry but chilly with our temperatures falling into the middle to upper 50s across the area. So we saw a few sprinkles earlier this morning. Things are continuing to move out of the area. It's going to leave us nice and dry as we go through the afternoon hours, and I'm not tracking any big weather systems heading our way, at least for the next couple of days or so. So as we take a look at the visible satellite imagery, again, clouds will continue to roll in across the area from the Gulf of Mexico. So the clouds will take some time to thin out, but I do think we'll see partly cloudy conditions tonight. So we shouldn't obscure any fireworks as we go through uh, or as we bring in the new year. Also, we have a little bit of dry air heading our way here as we take a look at the water vapor imagery, and that is going to set us up for a nice night. And tomorrow's New Year's Day looking beautiful across the area. We'll see plenty of sunshine and temperatures again in the lower 70s. So taking you through the next several hours as we take a look at the high resolution model here, clouds will remain stubborn as we go through the rest of the afternoon into tonight. But Look, it's going to continue to clear on out closer to midnight, so that's going to be fantastic for any celebrations. Another thing you have to worry about here, once again, we'll have the chance for patchy dense fog to develop across the area. Many spots down to a half of a mile as we go through the overnight hours, and it may linger as we begin our Sunday morning. So if you have to do anything early tomorrow, just keep in mind some fog is possible. So allow extra time. So I do want to show you the European model because we do have, or it looks like we have another a strong cold front heading our way ahead of that cold front some scattered showers are possible uh, Monday afternoon into Monday night and then that cold front sliding through Tuesday into our Wednesday we may see some heavy rain out of it it will be pretty scattered some light showers in other areas so we're gonna have to watch the flooding threat but strong to severe thunderstorms once again possible across the area and as we go through your Tuesday night into our Wednesday things should improve. Now, because of that, there is a severe weather threat for pretty much a good chunk of the state here in northern Louisiana, extending into our area, the North Shore in this, where we may see strong to severe thunderstorms. This is Tuesday. And then look at this. As we go into our Wednesday, that severe weather threat shifts. So again, we're going to have to watch for those stronger thunderstorms as that cold front pulls through. So here's a look at your seven-day forecast. If you're tuning in, today looks great. Seeing a few showers on the North Shore, but things are looking looking much drier as we head into the afternoon. Tonight looks fine too, lower 70s this afternoon. Now tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, 72 degrees, warm on Monday, upper 70s, and then strong storms are possible Tuesday into our Wednesday morning.